So as it turns out, uh, my phone will only record for so long at a time. So as I was saying, I started getting just roll, rolls of half dollar coins just to see if I could find some silver in there. Uh, it may seem kind of like a waste of time, but really I'm gambling without even losing anything. Either I have 10 bucks or I found a coin that's worth a couple bucks. So I'm either breaking even or not or making money. Either way, it's fine. I'm not losing any actual money. Uh, the ounce copper bar, which I had shown earlier, I just ordered five more of these with the fifth RAM bar that I ordered, just because it's cheap. It's a good order filler, especially if you're getting close to a threshold that means paying a shipping and handling fee versus not. Nice, easy little filler, and who knows? There's always that very slim chance that copper might actually go up and be worth something. I don't think it's going to happen, but hey, you never know. And it's just something else just to kind of look at. And uh, through some coin research, I also found out that any sort of penny before 1982 is 95% copper. So um, there's about 17 of those in there. There's from what I had in loose change floating around. The Once I get to 50, that'll actually go into a coin roll. So yeah, that's the stack so far. I started in March. So with it being August and building really on a very limited budget, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm sitting about 32 and a half ounces of silver right now, 0 0.08 ounces of gold. That will go up as time goes by. And it's uh, why I started to do this. Uh, really, I was looking into who was running for president next year, and uh, it kind of frightened me because at the time, the choices were either really people that give the Republicans a bad name and Hillary Clinton. And I'm neither Democrat or Republic. I, I'm Republican. I don't vote on any party lines. I just look at each candidate individually. And at that point in time, I decided we were pretty well screwed and I could see another financial collapse happening. And then I kind of realized I was just freaking myself out. But even then, I was like, well, this is something good to get into. I'm going to be retiring in a few decades. This is definitely something I can go to my retirement. Or if we have another financial collapse like we did a few years back. I've got something backed up, and I've got some savings that are actually on me, savings that will only go up. I remember when the financial collapse happened, and I saw a lot of people getting rich off of cashing in silver and gold, and I was kind of kicking myself. I was thinking, man, I could have been doing that, but instead I've been blowing a bunch of money a night at the bars getting drunk, which is really sad, and it's something that I was still kind of doing. I found that this is definitely helping me keep in, you know, partying, drinking, going out all the time. All of myself because when you're spending literally this much a night, well, that easily becomes this much in a week, and all of this within less than a, within less than a month, possibly. So, it's definitely uh, keeping me straight. It's definitely keeping me more sober, which is a good thing. But anyway, uh, there will be more videos to come as I get get new things. And uh, like I said on a previous video, I'm setting somebody aside for when the new Lunar series comes out. So uh, I'll probably do a lot of splurging on that one and probably get quite a few coins. So I'll actually have a decent unboxing for you guys. But until then and after then, it's all going to be building on a budget to show that even the poorest of people can do this. I'm a part-time working college student. Anyone can do this. Anyway, have a good one, YouTube.